What's up guys, Peter from Panda here. Hey, I bought myself something from Martin's Print Works. It's a print that they created. I think the artwork they created and then they certainly print this. Uh, and they're, they're in Lee East Lansing, Michigan and I'll put a link to them in the description, but I saw a picture uh, made of a Michigan scene that looked pretty cool and I wanted to show it to you. First of all, it doesn't come very quickly. I ordered this, I don't know, weeks ago and so I think they make things on demand uh, and then package them up. And one of the things I wanted to show you is their packaging because this is like a, you know, uh, a, a decent sized print, but what was cool is it didn't come in one of those tubes, which, which is what I expected. They, they sent this thing completely flat. Not only did they send it flat, but it has some additional pieces to kind of hold uh, the poster. I'm going to call it the poster. I don't know what the technology is, is really called, uh, in place. Um, and so it, to keep it from shifting in the envelope that it comes in. And then it also comes with another piece of cardboard to keep it flat as well. So the nice thing is when you do get it, you actually don't have to worry about it being rolled up and unrolling it and taping it down. Um, I do want to mount this and hang it up. Uh, one of the things I want to tell you here is that this is an 18 by 24 inch lithograph, part of a series of works that represent several well-known locations in the great state of Michigan. Woo woo! Uh, it's been printed in Michigan using acid-free paper and light fast inks, which is going to be nice, especially if you want this thing preserved for a while. I'm not remembering this stuff from memory. There's a little sticker on the back. Uh, and then about the artist, Petrus Martins resides in mid-Michigan. Mid He's a Bachelor of Arts uh, degree from the Florida State University and a fellowship from Yale University studying printmaking, sculpture, and painting. Uh, while predominantly a painter, he has recently taken great interest in vintage travel print advertising. So uh, I think, you know, obviously this guy is kind of impressive, but this really looks like to me kind of a vintage style poster. And I just, you know, I showed you another poster that maybe was a little more vibrant in color, but also maybe a little bit more modern in the, its design. But I really kind of liked this because of, you know, how kind of simple, yet colorful and scenic and vintage-y feeling it, it, it was. Now, it also comes with another piece of cardboard. So if you're looking to buy some cardboard, this is definitely the place to get it. Uh, a couple things I want to show you about this. First of all, looks like Petra signs it and the year, which is cool. But then as you can see here, you know, the material and the printing is just superb. I was actually curious because I was going to email because I hadn't received it and was wondering if there was shipping or tracking information. Um, and they never sent me any of that, so it was a little bit of a surprise when it came, but... I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. And as you can see here, I'm assuming maybe this is painted digitally using a tablet in a computer file, but I don't know. There's, I guess there's no way to know for sure, but here it is, Martin's Print Works. And uh, this is what they produce. Now, I have this print by Martin's. Nice quality paper. Leland on Peninsula, a great place. I also bought this frame on Amazon. This frame is actually pretty decent. Uh, could be a little better. I mean, uh, it's kind of like a press board that's painted black. It looks pretty decent up here. Uh, it has white matting and should be the right size for this print. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing installed and see how it looks. So there we have it. Got the picture in the frame. Frame's pretty decent. Uh, one thing I will say is that apparently we don't use glass anymore. It's always just plastic instead of glass, which is kind of a little disappointing, but I think this looks pretty good. Looks pretty formal and has a vintage feel, but without having to pay vintage prices or royalties to some company that might own it, you know, you can get something like this. Now, was it, she was super cheap? No, I mean, the poster or the print uh, was about 40 bucks. So not the most expensive thing in the world, but I think it looks great. So if you want 
uh, a vintage look or a scene from the great state of Michigan, you know, definitely check out Martin's Print Works. I'll put a link to it in the description. They've got lots of stuff, but just remember, it's going to take a little while to get there, but it's going to be in good condition, and it will look a whole lot like this. Peter Von Panda, out!